across the Denver metro area, volunteers out now conducting this year's point in time count. That includes uh, Rapo County. The idea, of course, to try and count the number of people that are homeless in our communities. This count goes towards helping counties receive the federal money they need to tackle housing and homelessness. Your Adams County reporter Gabriella Vidal takes us along on the process of conducting this count and why this year's numbers may look a lot different. We are heading behind the businesses here along Pecos to try and find some people experiencing unsheltered homelessness. With each step, letting them know that basically we're here for them. Adams County volunteers. Um, where is your last house though? Are making sure each person experiencing homelessness counts. So a lot of the times the homelessness in this area is hidden. It's hidden up under the freeways. It's hidden under bridges. Um, people get very resourceful in, in finding ways to be out of sight. Heather McClure is the county's homeless outreach coordinator and for sees this year's point in time count number increasing because eviction rates are still high. They're still through the roof. Um, we do see a lot more unsheltered homelessness. There's a lot of migrants that are coming into the community that are experiencing unsheltered homelessness as well. Migrants My last house, uh, Houston, Texas. like the ones we saw behind a strip mall on Pecos Street. I can't even close it. We answered survey questions, received food and cold weather items, and asked about how they can access resources. You give them hope to know that um, there are resources and people out there that want to help. For those that don't speak with volunteers. Um, the gentleman was asleep. He did not want to engage with us. And so what we're going to do is what we call an observation. So we're just going to note what we saw, note where we saw it, and put that information in. Where did you sleep last night? Here. Right here? information that could help increase the county's access to funds for housing as well as as finding out who is interested in engaging in housing as well as upward mobility services a step-by-step -step effort to tackle homelessness with heart and they're still a person and everybody deserves to be treated with dignity and compassion in Adams County Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado first and Gabby covers what's happening in Adams County. You can send her your story ideas of what's happening in your community to cbscolorado.com. And you can always just call our tip line.